few months to, to get back on my feet and, and not knowing where I was going to be when I got back on my feet and how long would it take me to get back into the ring and what long-term damage it was going to cause. Um, but look, I was lucky enough that everything went well and I got back on my feet and I just had a good strong mindset and belief that if I put the work in, I would be back fighting in, 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 um, pretty soon and um, I was really looking forward to it. Obviously, the pandemic came in then when I was um, after I got myself back back um, back on the back on my feet back working um, so that set me up for another few months so it's been a long difficult time the last 18 months but I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and I'm really looking forward to getting back in there and, and showcasing my skill. Kind of seeing where you're at now in comparison to where you were at before the injury has anything changed or do you feel like you're the same fighter that you were before this whole thing occurred? I feel like I probably would have a better fire now. Um, I probably got to work on things that was kind of my weakness um, over a period of time. And I feel like now that I'm, I'm a lot more ready um, and a lot more um, determined and focused to, to go on and to, um, to put a show on and be ruthless. Uh, final question for me. Um, looking at Marco Delgado uh, being the same opponent that you, you suffered the injury against, um, is there any sort of like symbolism in the fact that you're going back kind of like to the start um, and seeing uh, as far as, as the selection of him as an opponent? No, look, that's the, the opponent I wanted to pick from, from, from day one because I just want to put it right and, and I feel like come towards night I want to put it right and, and then just move on as I said. So um, yeah, no, look, it's, I'm going to be 100% focused as I would be for the gather for any, any, any opponent. Um, I was going to face, so um, I am just have the hard work done, and I was just about going in and, and doing it on the night. Sounds good. Thank you, Joe, and best of luck. Cheers. Thank you. Jeremy, thanks very much for joining us. Our next question comes from Cynthia Conte from The Real Fight Girl. Hi, it's Cynthia Conte from Ring TV. Uh, you are going to Puerto Rico. I mean, well, I think I, you are there right now. What does it mean to you to be fighting after your injury, actually? How much more do you have to prove to the world that you belong? Um, not so much how much I have to prove. It's just about um, obvious getting opportunities to fight in these big events. Is, and it's very um, special to me, obvious. Um, so it's, it's not. It's about me, obvious, going in there and, and, and showcasing my skill and putting on a good performance and, uh, and showing the people, obvious, like why I was such a great amateur and um, just about to transition now into a professional. So I just got to show um, what I can do and most important thing for me was about putting a hard work in the gym and it'll all pay off on um, come Thursday night. You've seen throughout a uh, pandemic this past year, a lot of fighters have fallen in and out because of pandemic, the sparring, the training, people haven't had, they haven't been able to get in the gym. Have you had any problems getting any uh, excellent sparring? I'm not gonna say good sparring, excellent sparring for your fight. Yeah, look, there's, there's always going to be a problem when there's a pandemic around, but um, I, I've been getting good sparring. Um, I've been lucky enough to be um, working with great coaches and um, working and have a good team around me that um, always gives me the opportunity to get the best of sparring and obvious um, the best of training. So I'm, as I said, I'm ready now and um, I feel in a great place and come come Thursday night, it's, it's my time. And for, uh, for fans that are going to be tuning in, Thursday, who don't know you, can you describe yourself in three words? Um, I'm just sharp, slick, and um, and rootless. All right. Well, good luck to you. Be safe. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, just wanted to talk to you, uh, Joe. Just tell me about the yeah, the two fights you had in Mexico to get back uh, recovering from the injury. Just walk me through those two rounds and how everything went for you. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great to get back into the ring. Um, been so long out of the ring. Um, after the injury, so yeah, it was just good to get back in, moving around, and um, looked at uh, the two guys I fought, obvious, um, they weren't up to the standard, probably where I'm at, the level I'm at, so um, I just I just went in there, was, um, I was ruthless, um, and I got them out there as quick as possible. That was all I had for you guys, thanks. Pardon? That was it, thank you so much, Jeff. No thanks, Marquise. Our next question comes from Jonathan Stapleton. Go ahead, Jonathan. Joe, I was just wondering in terms of Delgado as an opponent, like he comes in kind of off another upset win, like... He, I know you're great to fight him on your debut, but 
I'm just saying that that or a decent level opponent for this stage of your career. Yeah, look, he's, um, he has a, a number of wins. Um, as you said, he, he beat, uh, beat an American fighter there recently. So, um, yeah, he'll have a bit of confidence. Um, but look, I took him from my debut, so that, that says it all. So, um, obviously, I know my level of, of fighting is, is, is a lot more higher than his. And I believe that's going to show on Thursday night, the same way it was shown for the four minutes on my debut. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's just about me turning up and and um, being ready and being 100 focused and it won't be it won't be a problem for me and how was he after the debut like did he did you meet him afterwards or did you get the chance to talk to him post it like did he promise you a rematch or anything no i haven't i hadn't got to talk to him but i talked spoke to my team about getting the rematch as soon as i got back and he was happy enough to to, to um, have the rematch which i'm, I'm grateful for and um, because i just want to put it right and i believe on Thursday night i'm going to put it right and I'm going to move on to being a better things in the near future. Uh, you, you say bigger and better things. Have you got a plan set out for the year? Yeah, I have a plan. I look, with myself and the team, obviously, we take one fight at a time. We have a plan for the for the years. So we're hoping to be a very busy year. And um, yeah, look, we're hoping to every every single fight, we're hoping to take a step up and um, and keep improving. And when the time is right, and hopefully in the next 12 to 18 months, that I'm there, thereabouts at the top. And in that, in terms of like, the, your name has been dropped by the likes of uh, um, Matthew Tinker and, and Tony Brown. Would there be fights that interest you? Look, these, these two guys who are fought in amateurs, I'd be both guys. Um, look, if, 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 if the, obviously down the line, if, if them guys always has any sort of belts or, or if they're if they're in my way, um, I have no problem fighting them. But in the meantime, always I'm focusing on one fight at a time. And look at um, we we just keep um, we keep tipping over and um, always um, being ready. I appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. And best of luck. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, right. Go back to Adrian Jimenez. Adrian, do you have a question for Joe? Joe, maybe you can uh, help me. Is your plan to fight more in the United States now, or more in Ireland? Or no, I'll be, I'll be a lot more in the States. Um, as my promoter um, is Lou Bella, he's, he's, he's in, the, in the States, and uh, my trainer's from the States, um, along with my Irish trainer. So, yeah, I'm hoping to obviously fight a lot, a lot more in the States, and then hopefully we can bring it back to Ireland um, soon enough that we can get a fight back there. Excellent. And then how many times this year would you ideally like to fight if everything goes through smoothly? Yeah, everything going well. Um, I'd like to be out at, at least six times. And um, um, I'll be um, building the up, obviously, from six to eight. And, um, and yeah, so I'd like to be busy because, as I said, it's been a long 12 to 18 months out of the ring. So I want to get as many fights in as possible. Excellent. And I'm sorry, your training is with Joey Gamash, and that's New York City or Long Island? Yes, um, New York City. Joey, Joey trains in New York City. Um, yeah, along with my Irish coach Jimmy Payne, who's um, came along with me from day one. So everything is going really well. They work well as a team, and I'm really, I'm really happy with the the way things has gone. And, and your training camps will continue in New York, then. Yeah, in New York. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank